barnacles on the sides. Yeah. So going to hold there. Wow. So I think this is branching at the nodes, which means it's branching at the little black bands. Uh, coming so in again? Yeah, yeah, coming in. You can see on the bottom, yeah, it's noodle. Yeah, sometimes, particularly these old part of the stalks, it's not quite as obvious, but I suspect this is a, a, a nodal branch, and it could be in a, in the genus called Jason Isis, but I'm not absolutely sure. I feel like I haven't seen barnacles on bamboo corals like that. That's a really interesting. Yeah, there see. are some, but this is an amazingly healthy colony. There's just a tiny little cluster right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, but all in all, sea stars haven't found this guy yet. <laughs> uh, commensal animals on it. And that's a little mysid that's just sort of swimming by there. That's incredible. Yeah, it's quite possible that that's what maybe some of these crinoids are fishing for, trying to c catch those things, or even the brittle stars. The brittle stars can be voracious predators, by the way. <laughs> but um, there's another interesting thing uh, that we're trying to understand a little bit better, that there may be a commensal uh, hydrozoan associated with all of these little lateral strands coming out from the sponge itself. And that is one gorgeous view. Wow. And this is a species of the genus Bolosoma. And you can tell that because there's an oculus, an opening on the top of this uh, organism. You tilt up a little bit, yeah. Okay, so this looks like, once again, one of the uh, bubblegum corals, but it's being grown over by a zoanthid, so a different group of corals or a different group of cnidarians, and these often grow over and parasitize other corals. And I mistakenly called the um, okay, I think we're gonna animal that was linked in there um, a brittle star, but it appears to be a more likely to be a basket star, which is a different group of um, gr different group of echinoderm. Okay, are we ready for some rock sample action? Indeed we are. Okay. Thank you for that nice close-up. It's pretty. Chris Kelly indicated that this sponge is a leaf sponge. Um, and the genus is Tretopleura. And he said, the sponge has a bad case of Cliptometra lateralis. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, all of those uh, feather stars there. And I had it mistakenly called these brittle stars, but uh, I believe that they're actually basket stars, so a different group of conoderms. We uh, left a little. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what, let's look at this coral first and then we're, we're getting all types of... This, <laughs> yeah. this is in the family Primnoidae and this is either in a genus that's called Paracalyptrophora or Calyptrophora. And it's this is a massive, huge wow. colony. Very, very beautiful. And the way you kind of can tell a little bit of what genus uh, these things are in is you have to look really close at their polyps. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's kind of how their polyps bend when they close up. Some of them bend up and some bend down. And, but there's a lot of other features about them that we can't see, microscopic parts, which the taxonomy is really based on. But We can go further in, too, yep. if we need Let's to. And then is that the, the corallium at the, the base, the pink Yeah, one. that's the pink corallium. Wow, we're just getting, oh, man, we're just getting all types of stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party. It's a party. <laughs> Yeah, but um, this is definitely a primnoid. Often their colonies are sort of white. And that guy, I'm trying to see any close.
polyps on there. It's probably in the genus Paracalyptrophora that can often form these um, sort of candelabra complex fans like this one is. All right, full on video. Lots of places for those uh, basket stars to hang.